Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. We sing with the choir. We sing Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll the rock or the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back, and it was very large. Entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the side cloth in a white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell the disciples and Peter. There you will see him as he told you. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Happy Easter, Pope. Happy Easter. Let us greet our <laughs> neighbors, Happy Easter. From the darkness of plant to the light of Easter. <laughs> Palakpakan po natin ang St. Jude community. <laughs> Mabigat po ang uh, Lenten season. Mas mahaba po sa simbang gabi. Ang simbang gabi, siyam na gabi lang. Ang Lenten season, 40 days. <laughs> and uh, through this, we had many activities, many processions, many rituals. In the heat of our summer. But hindi po naging mabigat sa akin. Because we have a lot of people working with us. We have a lot of volunteers in our parish. Kung minsan natutulog pa ako, nagtatrabaho sila at nagpa-practice na. 
Minsan natulog na ako, ginagawa itong hanggang alas tres ng madaling araw. And I did not mention all the people who are working so hard to make our Easter more special because we work hard for it during our Lenten season. The Gospel speaks of hope that Easter brings. Hope that Easter brings. However, before we go to the hope of Easter, I would like to see two persons in the Gospels that were quite hesitant to celebrate the joy and the hope that Easter brings. Una po, si Magdalene, at yung kalawa, the very young John. Magdalene, in her grief, she did not recognize the Lord. The deliberating or the, the paralyzing grief of Mary Magdalene, she did not recognize what the Lord was saying on the third day He will rise again. Kumisan po nauna, naunahan tayo ng lungkot. Naunahan tayo ng pagdadalamhati. Or for worse, sometimes we go through our own depression, kalungkutan. With this overtaking us and overshadowing our perspective, we do not see the joy of Easter. The sense of loss can overshadow, overshadow us because that is the grief that overshadowed Magdalene from recognizing that even in an empty tomb, it is a sign the Lord has risen. Kaya nga po, napakaganda ng ating pananampalataya. Meron po tayong 9 days, 40 days, babang luksa. Lucas Paldas. It is some kind of a journey that after our pain, after our grief, we ought to stand up and recognize as Christians there is life even after our most painful and difficult days. It could be possible when we are overtaken by a lot of emotions. Galit na galit na galit. Malungkot na malungkot na malungkot. Then, we do not see the Lord risen before us. Kumisan ang taong ito, ang tawag ko sa kanila, nabubuhay sa nakalipas. They are captured in the sense of their past. Pero meron din yung kalawa, yung natatakot naman sa mangyayari sa kinabukasan. I would like to see this from the perspective of John, the young, the young uh, disciple of Christ. In one gospel pericope, if you continue the gospel, si Mary Magdalene, lum, pumunta po kina sa mga disciples, kina Peter, James, and John, and all the twelve disciples, and they reported that the Lord is not in the tomb. So, tumakbo silang lahat. Alam niyo po kung sino yung pinakamalakas tumakbo at pinakamabilis tumakbo? John. John arrived first. Maybe he's young. Younger, a lot younger than Peter. He ran very fast. Mabilis siyang tumakbo. Malakas pa po siya, bata pa. Full of energy, full of life, full of capacity. And yet, as he, as he was able to see what is inside, and it was an empty tomb, he did not enter. Ang tawag ko po dito, hesitation. The disengaging hesitation. The hesitation of John. Tayo po kumisan, malakas pa tayo, kayang-kaya natin, batang-bata pa, and yet what stops us from entering into a commitment in the risen Lord is our hesitation. Kung si Mary Magdalene, she was over, overcome by her own grief, John was stopped by his own hesitation. Yung baka, pag pumasok ako, baka anong makikita ko? Ayaw kong mag-commit, pumasok dito, baka hindi ko kaya. I am afraid. What holds John back from committing and entering the catacomb 
This is hesitation to be committed. Madalas may naninig po ako sa mga bata-bata dito sa St. Jude. Father, gusto ko pong mag-volunteer sa simbahan eh. Kaya lang, bata pa po ako. <laughs> o yun nga eh. Kaya lang po, nag-aaral pa po ako. Yun nga eh. Kaya lang po, malilit pa po yung mga bata. Kaya lang po, nag-start pa lang kami sa pamilya namin. Sometimes in our youth, in our strength, in our capacity, we are overcome by our own hesitation. You can do more, but we are afraid. Like John, he already saw a glimpse of the Lord in the empty tomb. Natatakot po siya. He was undecided and cannot engage himself fully. Hindi lang po totoo ito sa pananampalataya. Kumisan, ganyan din sa mga bata-batang humahanap ng trabaho. Napansin ko po sa mga batang naghahanap ng trabaho ngayon, they always have a second option in their heart. Kaya pag pumasok sila sa isang trabaho, yung commitment nila hindi talaga 100%. You know why? Deep in their heart, they will say, hmm, bata pa naman ako, I have other options. Para bang as they enter a commitment, they have a lot of hesitations in their hearts. That's why the fullness of giving self is not realized even in relationship at times. Kung minsan yung iba, matagal nang nagsasama, hindi pa nagpapakasal. They hesitate. They have a lot of fear. Sigurista. Faith is when you give yourself fully, even without knowing how things will be fulfilled. We listen to the wonderful readings of Abraham being invited to offer his son Isaac. He just followed. Yes, Lord. You know also the story of Moses. He was asked to lead the people of Israel out of the bondage of e Egypt. He said, he hesitated. How can I do this? I, I could not even speak clearly. I, I, I stumble when I speak. Do not be afraid. When God calls, He does not call the able. He enables whom He call. I will repeat that. God do not call the able. He enables those He call. Wag kang mag-alala pag tinawag ka ng Diyos na hindi mo kaya. Tutulungan ka ng Diyos pag ikaw ay tinawag. Sabi nga nung matandang pare, we do all wisdom. Pagkagustuhan mo yung ginagawa mo, gagawin mo yung kaya mo. Siyempre. Pero nakakapagod talaga yan kasi kagustuhan mo. Pero pagkagustuhan ng Diyos ang ginagawa mo, ang Diyos mismo gagawa ng paraan ng kagustuhan niya ay matutupad sa pamamagitan mo. But John was hesitant. A young, energetic, strong and fast young John was afraid to enter the catacomb. These two expressions in Magdalene, her grief and the hesitation of John were obstacles from celebrating Easter. Iwanan na po natin yan sa nakalipas. Why? Because we want to celebrate the faith that brings hope. Nakakatawa po medyo makakatawang konti si Peter. Eh. <laughs> Excited din siya. Pero <laughs> medyo matanda na po siya. Hindi po siya makatakbong maka mabilis. Siguro deep inside him also, meron din po siyang something that holds him. Hindi lang po yung medyo matanda na siya. Alam niya may atraso din siya kay Jesus. Narinig niyo po yung manok na nagtoktokokok, di ba, nung, nung Palm Sunday? Nagtoktokokok, no? Pero kahapon, dahil English, hindi na nagtoktokokok yung manok kasi hindi na English speaking yung manok ng, ano, ng kapampangan. No? Pero English yung gospel. Hindi alam sa English yung toktokokok. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you know, knowing that uh, Peter ay may pananagutan sa, kay Jesus, siguro, Meron din siyang takot ng konte, Pero in the gospel, he was able to overcome his own guilt and entered the catacomb where Jesus 
was buried before. He saw and he believed. Alam niyo po, may kapatid akong nagdadialysis since 1991. Noong pong 2011, nag-20 years na siyang nag-transplant. Tapos nag-text siya sa akin, text lang po. Nabili po ako dun sa sinabi niya. May sakit po siya. Maraming maraming gabon tang iniinom niya. But he's still trying his best to live a normal life. Even hopefully better than normal. He's <laughs> very active. Regularly pupunta siya dito. Hindi ko alam baka nandito man siya. Nag-text siya, sabi niya, 20 years ago, I had my first kidney transplant, 1991. 2011 pa po yung text niya ito. Since then, I have been looking for the total healing that I prayed for but could not find it. Now I realize that total healing is in believing and be living. Kumisan, we pray for total healing. Like me, I would like to be totally healed. Or maybe kau kung naoperahan na, you want to be totally healed. O may problema ka, you want to be totally solved. But sometimes it's not. Kaya nag-hesitate po ako pag may intention ako ditong fast recovery. Pero may sakit pong hindi naman mabilis ang healing. May sakit namang hindi 100% healing. Pero sabi ng kapatid ko, na nagkaroon na po ng second transplant, and you know, we are trying to work up his third, third kidney transplant. Dahil nagdadialysis na naman siya ngayon, ang expression niya, to be living, believing is to be living. Yung buhay lang ako ay tanda ng aking pananampalataya. Ita mo mang mabieta mo na ano pampantunan ta mo. A lot of people are in the hospital today. I just visited a friend. How he wished who will be with us. But he cannot. The life that we celebrate is a life and testimony that the Lord is present and alive in you. And when you believe, you exhume hope. In kasal pantayanan, mamie pagasa. Kareng masisira lub. Kareng may nalub. Diyat ang bisa ng sumuko. Nakakatawa nga. Naalala ko kaninang pinipipir kong homily. Doon sa National Kidney and Transplant Institute, NKTI, mayroon silang foundation para sa transplant. Alam niyo po yung organ donors, yung kunyari, na aksidente ka, magpipirma yung pamilya mo, o ikaw mismo, may card ka. Kung wala na talaga ang buhay mo, You can give your kidney so that other people will be alive. Alam niyo po ang anong pangalan ng foundation? Hope Foundation. Human Organ Preservation Effort. Marami na pong nagbigay, nabigyan ng buhay because of this foundation. And the transplant and giving life to those who need it. And I believe that believing is hoping. Kaya lang po, alam niyo po, Hoping is not only wishing. Hindi po pa hindi po pareho yung I hope, I wish. Kung misan dito pareho lang, I hope it will not rain, kasi may bagyo, or I wish it will not rain, kasi may bagyo. You know, I hope and I wish are not the same. Meron pong isang philosopher, French philosopher, pangalan niya po Gabriel Marcel. He wrote a book ang title po. Homo Biator, a sketch of a phenomenology and metaphysics of hope. Sabi po niya, sabi po ni Gabriel Marcel, hope is not a wish. It's not a sheer optimism. Hindi yan, positive thinking. Ang buhay po hindi nakukuha lang sa positive thinking. It's not only optimism and wish, but it emerges in a situation of despair. Yung parang when everybody gave up, Pagkat ang dengaluwang tao, sinuko na la. Dengaluwang tao, eh, no visa. Dengaluwang minurong na la. Then you still continue. Their hope is alive. 
Hope is the reason why you do not give up. May, may I repeat? Hope is the reason why you do not give up. The resurrection of the Lord give us hope. And that is the foundation of our belief. Many people may claim, I do not believe. But the act of believing is still there. That we know that hope is beyond despair. And hope is far beyond disappointment. Let this be our source of joy. Where there is hope, there is Easter joy. We celebrate this with the faith that we have. Not our grief, not our hesitation to commit ourselves fully. But the strong, willing determination to believe, to hope, and to celebrate Easter with joy. I would like to give you an assignment. Pwede pong mag-isip kayo ng karanasan ninyo. Karanasan ninyo that you almost gave up. A moment, an episode in your life when you can see it from the perspective of faith. We call that faith experience. From the eyes of faith that gives you hope in the source of real joy. Yung naranasan mo na for others, Susuko na sila. For others, they would already give up. Pero ikaw, nandito pa. You look at it from the eyes of faith. Like Peter, may you find resurrection in an empty tomb. Like Peter, may you find life in the emptiness of the tomb. There is hope. There is faith. There is Easter joy. Happy Easter po kaya katamungan. Please stand.